One of the services at Russell Tree Experts is air excavation of trees' roots. This tree has girdling roots that have wrapped around the base and are limiting the sap flow up the trunk of the tree. Using this diesel air compressor and high pressure, high volume air from the air spade, we cultivate the soil around the base of the tree. As shown here, these roots have wrapped themselves around the base of the tree and are clearly limiting sap flow up the trunk. The next step is to use a chainsaw or axe to cut these roots to relieve that pressure on the base of the tree and allow it to continue expanding in diameter. Without excavation with the air spade, you would never be able to see this root problem. Once the root pruning has been performed, the next step is to spread composted mulch over the cultivated root zone and rake it smooth to provide a sheltered, hospitable place for new root growth. In this situation, this large silver maple tree has had many of its roots cut from digging for a new footer. In addition, heavy machinery has compacted the soil in the surrounding root zone. Using the air spade shown here, we are able to cultivate this soil without damaging the critical fibrous roots of the tree. This introduces pore space to the soil, which aids in absorption of water and minerals. So which soil do you think this tree would prefer? We've got seriously compacted hard pan here, or freshly cultivated native soil. Just the difference is the amount of pore space and air in the soil. Again, the final step in this process is to spread a composted mulch over the newly cultivated root zone. This mulch will shelter the newly cultivated soil from the sun, provide shelter for earthworms and other organisms, and looks nice. The final step is to rake it smooth. As shown in this before photo, we went from hard compacted soil to freshly cultivated soil with a composted mulch layer. This mulch helps keep moisture in the soil, provides shelter for earthworms and other organisms, and the newly cultivated soil allows better root growth and easier absorption of water and minerals into the soil.